Hey guys, it's Katie over at KDK Plans and today I'm just going to be showing you guys how I set up my Erin Cundren Life Planner. Um, it's actually been a hot minute since I've been in a life planner, but I am thrilled to be back in this. I miss my covers. Um, I just, I miss the quality paper um, in the layout. So here we go. So whenever um, I start, Yes, I do put my name in it. Um, so the first thing that you hit is the year at a glance page. And what I do, I don't have any kids right now. Um, and so I don't track like school and stuff like that. I will when that time comes. So right now what I do is I go through and I track um, all of, let me zoom in, all of our paydays that we have. Um, so my husband and I, we actually follow the same payday, which works out great. So I will go through and mark all of those. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better. So I mark all of them. Um, no color coding is just whatever color I wanted pretty much. Um, so I go through and do that with the circle dots. These are dots from Planner Kate. A lot of people have some good ones. I know Erin Condra does. Chrissy and Designs has a ton of good ones. I just used what I had left over. Um, so the paydays are all the colors. I also keep track of like vacations. I already know my days off um, and my husband's we're off every weekend. We're off every, you know, major holiday. So I really just extra keep track of vacations or road trips that we're taking with the gray. So like 4th of July, we're going to my family's. Um, in October, we're going on a mini vacation for our five year anniversary. And then at Christmas, again, we're going to see my family as well. And then, you know, we just continue on with that. Um, another thing that I did this year was I put main events that were going to be happening or things that were due for me, like my, um, license renewal or, um, my continuing ed courses that are due, any road trips I just kind of wrote down here. I have a um, leadership class that we're taking and we meet once a month for it and we graduate in October from that. So I did keep that really, again, no color coding here. I just matched it with, ever, with whatever color I used on the dots. So that is what I use there. And those are Chrissy and Design stickers little labels there so that is how I set up and I can add more as I go um, but this is just kind of what I knew was going to be happening so and then I do have it marked for a quick glance with the mini snap and bookmark um, and then you get into this 12 month or these 12 boxes last year um, or actually like the year before I just use them. I would put the month on here. So January or January, February, March, April, May, June. Um, I started with July over here since that's when my planner starts. But I typically would just write down basically what I did here. So like main events that were happening when things were due, major holidays. I decided this time I was going to make it more as like a reminder memory type planner deal so i am actually really excited with how it turned out so far and like i said as i go so like over here there's not a ton of stuff uh, but as i go i'll just add it in as i need to so like over here we're going on a road trip i do have my tags and taxes due because that's a reminder that i do need um, events that go on in October, our doctrines five, we have birthdays, not too much happens in September. So we'll see what this ends up looking like. Um, October is a jam packed month. So much fun. Graduate leads class. We're going on vacation. We have our five year anniversary and we do have this big arts and crafts festival in the fall. And then our church has their fall party. So it is a full fun month. And then, um, November, December, and like I said, I started in July since that's when the planner starts, but I'm loving how this is turning out. Um, I think it'll make a fun little memory, you know, memory page basically um, to look back on. And it's just fun to use up extra stickers that you have. It's a great way to use extra stickers that you have that you may not use in like your regular layout. So I'm super excited about this page. I obviously had to use my birthday month with layers because it's so pretty <laughs> and I love anything blue if you can't tell on my birthday month 
All right. Um, here, I don't know. I'll once it gets closer, I'll realize like kind of what I want to do here. But I might. My idea is to do like a currently page, like what I'm currently enjoying or what I'm currently reading, um, things like that. So, and then I, once again, I will set the monthly page up once it gets closer. Um, these pages. I've kind of mentioned it before. I'm honestly, I, I'm probably not going to use this ever. So, um, I will keep the rest of the months open. I'll kind of do it month by month, just in case something changes. Um, but for like July, I know I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to take a double sided tape and just it, do like adhesive on here so that when I go to my month, it'll just turn straight to my week. Um, do have that bookmarked. I cannot wait to start. And then the next thing that I do to set up is I set up the notes pages that are in the back. Um, so I did share some of this on Instagram. So for my first page, I just kind of wrote out my morning and evening routines just to kind of give a visual for me. Um, does not go exactly as planned all the time, but this is pretty much what happens. So I did go ahead and write that in there. I do have this bookmark as well. This is one of the older Erin Condren bookmarks, some of my favorites. This was watercolor, um, I think was that set, and that is one of my favorite um, sets. Next to layers, which is like my new favorite. So here I have, um, I'm keeping track of house um, projects on here, which I just did one, so I need to go ahead and mark it off, but I love how that turned out. These are, as well as these, are Chrissy Ann Design stickers. Um, these were the dots, I believe they were from the Planner Junkie back when they were the Planner Junkie. Um, I couldn't really find any of them now, so I'm not sure. I know they changed their name, but I can't find them, so I'm not sure if they're still open or not. But I know like Planner Kate has them, Chrissy and Designs has them, a ton of people have dots like this. Again, I just used what I had so that I would use it up. Um, the next page that I have are gift ideas. So I really just kept this as um, like close family. Obviously, I have some coworkers that we do. We really just do like the nursing, nursing kind of gifts each other. And then we do a secret Santa for like the clinic, basically. Um, and then we meet up for Christmas Eve. So I have some stuff for that because um, that's also like a white elephant type gift. So I just kind of keep it as, you know, open and really just close family instead of listing everyone out because this is really what we, you know, buy for. So the next page is something new um, that I decided to try. I've seen a lot of people do this. It's not my idea. Um, it is books to read. And so these are the three that I've read so far. And I went ahead and just marked them off with mile liners. Um, I do have one that I think I'm going to start reading that I can add in here. I just have not got it yet to start. So I do love this page though. This page is really fun. Um, I saw this over at, I think her handle is Megan's Got Plans. Um, and I saw this, that she did this and absolutely loved it. I loved having it all in one space where I'm not cluttering up the front of the book. Um, this was so much fun. So I basically just color coded with mile liners again. Anything looks good with mile liners. And then I just wrote in some of the birthdays. I still have a few more to add, but there is that page. This page, I'm going to do like a monthly task page. I'm waiting on some Chrissy and design stickers um, so that I can put six months and six months and then like basically routine tasks that are going to repeat themselves from month to month, year to year. That way it's all just in one spot. So I will do that. Um, here I am doing um, healthy habits and routines. I just kind of kept that there, took it from my Moxie Life and put it over here. And then I did add on a um, content planner there. And then I don't know what I'm going to do here. So I might do like a fun um, quotes page, or I also thought about just doing favorite meals here because I think I've tried the quotes page and I don't really stick with it. Um, but we'll see the 2022 calendar. I will write in here some things like I know in 2022, I need to renew my license for CPR. So that will be that. But yeah, that is how I go ahead and set up, 
Um, I also will try to, like on the monthly pages, I'll try to add post-its when I know something is going on. Like in July, I went ahead and put that we are going to be, you know, road, trip to, road tripping to St. Louis. So I will do that to pre-plan as well. So yeah, that is how I set up my Erin Condren. If you guys have any questions or want to know what any stickers are, feel free to comment or leave me a message. And thank you guys so much for watching.